Um, I am Dr. Adrienne Pinkney and I'm here with my business, Be Well, Live Consciously. And I work with individuals and groups on consciously creating loving lives at work. I have been so blessed in this journey to have met Miss Sashi, who has invited me here to speak with you all today. She's phenomenal. Uh, she's all about depression and suicide awareness. She asked me to talk about that, and I'm thinking depression and suicide, that's kind of depressing. Um, but I figured <laughs> I could do it in a way in which I shared my story with you and how I overcame depression myself. So to depress means to make someone feel utterly dispirited or dejected. And I asked myself, have I ever felt that way? Well, yeah, I have, actually. The first time I felt depressed, I was about 12 or 13 years old. What does a 12 or 13 year old have to be depressed about? Well, my mother was really violent. She was kind of mean. She came home a lot, and she was always kind of pissed. Um, I wasn't really happy at school. I went to predominantly white schools. I was the only little black girl in the classroom, and that's heavy. Um, I was depressed because I was coming into my body in new ways, and I didn't really know how to feel about me. And so coming into the awareness that I was depression, I, depressed, I expressed that to some of the adults in my life, and that brought me to another word, and that would be to suppress which is a verb that means to forcibly put an end to. So when I would try to talk about my feelings, I was taught how to suppress them. I mean, they didn't consciously say suppress your feelings, but when I talked about my feelings, things like fix your face, Adrian. When I cried or showed that I wasn't really happy or, Adrian, you're 12 years old, you don't have nothing to cry about. You don't have real problems. Yeah, so I started to suppress or Stop crying before I give you something to cry about. <laughs> yeah, I was suppressing. So how does depression and depression relate to each other? Well, that leads me to the next word, which is to repress. To repress means to subdue by force. So I started to suppress my own feelings. Nobody else had to do it for me. <laughs> I started to repress my own feelings. I started to stuff those things down. I tried to act like I was okay. I became an achiever. Everything looked really, really good for a girl who knew how to suppress and repress, who was depressed. So what did that mean for me? Well, it really just meant that I was in a constant state of anxiety. I had insomnia. I looked great though, I was cute. <laughs> but I really, really wasn't okay. So when I finally got to the place where I said, I'm actually wanting to be well, not just look good, but be well, I started to tell the truth, which leads me to my next word, to confess which means to admit a state that someone has committed. So I started to confess some things. I started to confess that I had been emotionally abused in my family of origin. I started to confess that the society that I grew up in was not self-affirming and didn't tell me that I was beautiful and that I mattered. I started to confess a lot of things, like I was hurt about a whole bunch of stuff. I started to learn new words of confession, like, oh, nope, that's not okay. I started to learn how to cry. Oh my God, something that a girl who said, you don't have nothing to cry about, and your mother said, you don't have nothing to cry about, fix your face, or here's another one, and you better not cry. I actually learned how to cry. <laughs> I started to confess that I was not well. So that leads me to my next word, which is to express, which means to convey in words by gestures and conduct. And I am so excited to be here at this talent show today where I see so many people expressing their gifts, their talents, expressing their light, showing up honestly and vulnerably and showing up in their greatness. As I started to express and confess more for myself, I realized that I had loyalty and royalty inside my DNA. I realized that I was beautiful, that I was great and that I mattered. I realized that my story mattered and that it wasn't just mine, that as I started to tell my story, it gave other people permission to do the same. So I encourage you to continue to express yourself, your truth, your light, your talent, 